dear professional friends today we are going to see amendment in graduate payments eligibility government is planning to introduce rapid changes in uh, eligibility criteria for graduate and uh, this is a very great news to the salaried people because nowadays uh, the present as per present act uh, only those employees permanent employees who have put in 5 years service can get the um, graduate when they resign from the uh, job or they when they change the job but um, government is planning to reduce the eligibility criteria and this and the purpose of this video is to discuss about that the central government is considering reducing the minimum eligibility condition by graduate payments to the employees the center may reduce the threshold from the 5 years of continuous employment to between 1 and 3 years amid growing demand to make the graduate eligibility criteria shorter in a recently tabled report the parliamentary standing committee that on labor had recommended that the existing period of 5 years of continuous service for a, for graduate to employees should be reduced to 1 year graduate payments to stop or equivalent to 15 days of salary for each year an employee has spent at an organization all employees likely to get graduate the proposal new proposal Uh, all the employees irrespective of the category only earlier it was a permanent employee now it is contract labor seasonal workers piece rate workers daily monthly wage workers are going to get the <coughs> graduate the five year threshold was formulated decades ago to promote long term work culture the reality is different now while graduate threshold of one year may not be possible two to three years in is a better option parliamentary standing committee on labor in its report also pointed out that this employment period provision also incentivizes employers to terminate the employees before the completion of 5 years so what according to the present act employers take the loophole and uh, they dismiss the uh, service of the employee who is going to complete the 5 years so that they can avoid the payment of graduate so this another recommendation made by the committee was the was that graduate should be made payable to all employees contract labor se seasonal workers piece rate workers daily monthly wage workers so all employees whether they are permanent or temporary they will be getting graduate if the act is going to be amended how graduate is being calculated now the benefit of pro rata graduate should be extended to the contract labor if they serve for the full period of the contract irrespective of the change of contractors so instead of even there is a change of contracts if this the employees work for the full period of the contract they are eligible to get the graduate now the principal employer should be liable to pay pro rata graduate for the term of the contract and it may be paid along with the lost wages the report noted how the uh, how the graduate is being calculated I using the two important parameters number of years of service and lost salary drawn you can calculate the graduate as follows graduate is equal to lost drawn salary into 15 by 26 into number of years of service the number of working days per month is taken as 26 graduate calculation is done at the rate of 15 days wages of our every one year service calculated friends i think this uh, video will be very informative to you i request you to subscribe my channel so that whenever you issue a new video on any topic it will reach you immediately thanking you once again rv shagar practicing company secretary